this is Captain Chaudhary. In the last session, I dealt with uh, the settling of or the spiral curve of a gyro dammed in tilt. Uh, in this particular session, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to see how a gyro that is dammed in azimuth will settle. Like uh, I had told you, a gyro that is dammed in tilt will settle slightly to the east of meridian and slightly above the horizontal whereas in southern hemisphere that was in northern hemisphere in southern hemisphere the axle will settle slightly to the west and slightly below the horizontal but a gyro that is damped in azimuth will settle on meridian we will see how uh, the damping precision which is created in a gyro that is damped in azimuth will definitely be acting in a horizontal direction the axis of azimuth is horizontal. Damping in azimuth would mean that the damping is caused in the horizontal plane. The damping precision which is created in the gyros that is damped in azimuth number one will be out of phase with a control precision and number two it will encourage the axle to move towards the meridian. That means if the axle is gone to the east of meridian the damping precision will be westward and if the axle goes to the west of meridian damping precision will be eastwards. So this way uh, finally we are going to see what we are going to see is the axle settles in the meridian. But here uh, the difference the marked difference compared to the trace of the gyro that was damped in tilt is in the gyros damped in tilt we had generally seen that the north-south peak the north-south peak occurs not on the meridian it is either east of meridian or the west of meridian we had seen that the peak was to the east of meridian in northern hemisphere now in the gyro that is damped in azimuth we will uh, see that the east-west peak does not occur on the major axis of the ellipse okay either it will be slightly above or it will be slightly below the major axis of the ellipse that is because in addition to the control precision and drifting there is one additional force or acceleration that acts either favoring the control precision or drifting we will see that in the diagram right as as i told you that the damping precision encourages the axle to move towards the meridian let us see how it works so uh Let's say uh, here is a meridian and this is the horizontal, right? And we say that we are looking at the gyro that is damped in azimuth in northern hemisphere. This is the meridian. So if I say the axle is pointing in this direction, it would mean that axle is horizontal and axle uh, is in meridian, so it is pointing north. The only force that is acting at this point would be drifting. As I told you before, in northern hemisphere, the drifting is eastwards. The axle is driven out of meridian. And the moment it comes out of the meridian, it acquires the uh, force of tilting. And tilting will cause the tilt. And as soon as you have tilt, let us see what happens. So we'll see the standard drifting force of the same magnitude. The tilting is upwards and tilt causes the control precision over here and we will also have a small damping precision with this if I say uh, the previous ellipse had this particular level at which the control precision becomes equal to drifting we will acquire a peak well before that I mean before that at this point where drifting equals control precision plus damping precision and tilting here will be maximum now we are able to acquire this east to west equilibrium because the damping precision is favoring control precision so that the sum of control precision and damping precision is equal to drifting if damping precision was if the damping precision was not there then the control precision would equal drifting at this level 
but because the damping precision is supporting control precision we have got the east west peak at this point and from there the axle would move like this because as I said throughout the damping precision will be supporting control precision and at this level say if we examine this level control precision itself is uh, bigger than the drifting plus there is damping precision so swiftly the axle is brought to the meridian tilting is upwards because the axle is to the east on meridian what happens is you have the control precision we may not look at the damping and control precision is more than drifting there is no tilting because the axle is in meridian now another peak that is going to occur is probably at this point at this point what happens is drifting is supported by damping precision and therefore the control precision has to be equal to damping precision plus drifting and that would happen if control precision is considered above this level at which control precision is equal to drifting so here you have seen that the east west peak has occurred above the major axis and here the east west peak has occurred below the major axis and this is a characteristic feature of this particular drawing that is the tracing of uh, an axle that is axle of the gyro that is damped in as you know. once again when we come towards the meridian at meridian you don't have tilting once again because uh, you are on the west side the tilting will be downwards anywhere else also if I want to show the vectors I will have to show the damping I will have to show the tilting downwards because you are on the west side at meridian the tilting disappears damping precision also will not be there and what you will have is the control precision which is much smaller than drifting so that the axle is once again driven out of the meridian and in doing that the similar thing will happen and once again we are going to acquire a peak at this point where drifting is equal to CP plus damping precision eventually the axle settles on the meridian uh, while the axle settles on the meridian this part can be shown like this this is happening slightly above the major axis as you have seen and therefore the control precision is going to be more than drifting but symbolically we will also show the damping precision acting in this direction damping precision out of phase with control precision damping precision in a way uh, supporting the drifting and because the damping precision is supporting the drifting so control precision has to be more than drifting that's why the settling point is slightly above the major axis so this is the trace of a north axle of a gyro that is damped in azimuth in northern hemisphere the points to uh, note here is that the north south peak occurs on the meridian and east west peak if you see on the east side the peaks are occurring below the major axis and on the west side the peak is occurring above the major axis